Hey guys, it's Pablo here with another video. Long time, right guys? But I'm back. Well, this is a oil furnace. Um, and this oil furnace is um, what we're doing right now is uh, I'm going to be changing the transformer. We should change the electricity from 120 all the way up to sometimes 10,000 uh, uh, voltage to create a spark on the spark module to create the flame. But I'm going to talk about some different components in this unit. Um, so that way you guys can learn. For example, this is the relay assembly thermostat. It has the thermostat, which is read the temperature of the water running inside the boiler when the boiler is heating the water. Uh, this thermostat open and close and allow electricity to flow from blue all the way to red. So when the thermostat, the temperature, for example, you set the temperature at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. When it's below 180, this pass right here will close and it will allow 120 to run here. And that 120 will go to this cable and it will go to the system of the burning. The burning system is simple. Um, when this get electricity in the signal and you bypass this thermostat wire, the TT, which is the thermostat, it send power or signal to the blower model, to the solenoids to allow oil to get in, and to the transformer to create a spark on the spark plug and create a flame. And that's like, that's the way it works. Um, the BTU in this unit is pretty good, but this thing to maintain the maintenance is expensive. Also, to get a repair also is expensive. Um, this brand is really good, as you can see. Um, also got the gauges so you can see the, the temperature and the pressure of the unit. Here, the components, you're going to have the flame sensor. The flame sensor is right here. It, it's, 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 it's like you see this little flame sensor on some dryers, kind of the same way. It's like a photograph sensor. So it sends how much light is on the burn and that light creates some type of resistance and that type of resistance ohms communicate with this computer board and allow this board to know that the system is on. Um, one way also to uh, troubleshoot in this thing is to make sure the oil filter is clean. Uh, make sure the oil tank is more than 25% of the total charge, the tank. So create some type of pressure so the oil can run by gravity, come down here. And when the solenoid opens, it get in and with the spark, create the flame. The blower motor, you know, is there to push out the flame and also to push down the flame to go to the shimmer. And when the shimmer heat up the sink, it heat up the water eventually. Um, well, guys, uh, I think this is a short video, but it's a lot of information. I hope you can learn from this. Um, well, another thing is in order to clean the flame assembly, you got to get all the spark plug and the pilot out on the tubing for the oil out and get a vacuum and a brush and get it clean it up. Sometimes it's a lot of build up inside and it doesn't allow the flame to be proper flame it up and heat ignited properly um well guys that's it for today's video and i keep you guys posted